Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday and welcome to another video. As you can see by today's tile, tile, <laughs> as you can see by today's title, <laughs> today we are doing a makeup haul. I haven't done a haul in a long time. It feels like it's been very, very long. So it's definitely overdue. I want to try and do this almost like a series, maybe like once a month, if you guys want to see it that often. Um, so I recently went to ColourPop and I was in between ordering from ColourPop and BH Cosmetics because I've been really wanting to try brushes and like foundations and like different products from BH Cosmetics but obviously ColourPop won. They had some things that I've just been eyeing for a long time and I was like you know what today is the day. So I decided to make an order again at ColourPop and I limit myself to a hundred dollars which is I think it's a pretty good budget to do or to give myself. So I wanted to share with you guys and show you what a hundred dollars worth of makeup can get you at Pop. ColourPop, obviously, you know, there's tons of different stuff and oh my god, they had so many new things. I shopped a little bit on their new section, their best-selling section, their collab section, um, their skin section. Actually, not much of a skincare because it kind of scares me to shop in the skincare section. Um, and I have a skin skincare routine right now that works for me, so I'm just like, not trying to mess with that. Anyway, if you guys want to see what I have in my little ColourPop box, which is this one right here, then go ahead and keep on watching and let's jump right into the video. I have my little box right here and let's get right into it. Now, as you can see, I have obviously makeup on. I did try out some or a lot of the ColourPop products on my skin. I just I was just in the mood to play around with new makeup. So yeah. Also, I did want to mention that I tried my best, even though I don't think I succeeded. I tried my best to get a little bit of everything like lip liners, lip gloss, lipsticks, um, what else did I get? Glitters and just a little bit. I tried again a little bit of everything. With that said, I am going to start. I'm just going to grab products and show you guys. So here I have the new So Juicy Plumping Lip Glosses. I actually got two shades and I was going to pick these up at my local Ulta, but my Ulta didn't have these. And then I went to another Ulta and found them, but I just like stopped myself from getting them because I knew that I had these in the mail coming. So I only got two shades because I've heard some people saying that they're not very good, that they're very like um, thick glosses that they're very like goopy so I was like okay I'm just gonna grab two if I like them I can get myself more and if I don't then I don't feel like I wasted too much money on them anyway so like I said I picked up two shades of the so juicy plumping lip glosses this one is in the shade roundabout and this is in the shade true life and there we have swatches i am going to try and give you guys as many swatches as i can now i am wearing this one right now on my lips which is true life you guys know that i am a sucker for peach color glosses lewd gl lewd <laughs> nude glosses those are just like my absolute favorite and the one that is on this side again is roundabout as you can see the peach gloss is a little bit more like on the shimmer side this one has a little bit of like uh, very small particles of glitter i wouldn't even call it glitter it's just more of a shimmery gloss and this is more of a matte gloss it doesn't have any shimmer in it both of them are really pretty but yeah this is the one that i'm wearing today on top of the lipstick and so far i really like it i don't think that it went on like goopy or anything like that i think it went on pretty well and it's super shiny which i love next up i picked up the new little collaboration with makeup by shayla or shayla x color pop this is the slow down liquid lip and liner duo i didn't pick up any of her other products i don't know why i guess i should have but i <laughs> I'm kind of on a no eyeshadow or eye palette buy right now. I'm trying not to buy any eyeshadow palettes because I literally have so many and there's so many new palettes that have come out that I haven't even had a chance to play with. So I was really tempted to order 
uh, there's this new palette by ColourPop. I don't remember what it's called, but it's really pretty and it has like peach shades and it has like glitter. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. But I was like, nope, no eyeshadow palettes. Don't need it. I want it, but I don't need it. Anyway, so I was able to get, or I did allow myself to get this. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's super, super cute. And the reason why I bought this is because I love makeup by Shayla. Like her lip combo is always popping like all the time. And you guys know me. I live, die for a brown lip liner. Like that is my signature lip combo. Brown lip liner, new lip, maybe a gloss on top. And I am good. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I need it. And so <laughs> this is the one that I got. So this one's called Slow Down and the packaging is just super, super cute. This is an ultra satin lip, so it's not their matte finish, which I actually enjoyed this formula a lot better than their liquid or their matte lipsticks. I used to have so many and I got rid of pretty much like 99% of them just because now that I've tried new formulas like ColourPop's matte formula is not the best i don't know if they reformulated but i didn't bother to pick one up so this is the shade you guys you don't understand how happy i was when i like applied this on my lips i was like oh my god this is exactly what i want this is like my dream in a liquid lipstick it's nude it's warm it's peach oh, i just love this and obviously i tried the lipstick on my lips today i also paired it with the uh, lip liner that it came with this one is called BFF4. So this lip combo together seriously is a perfection. The Makeup Forever lip liner eye pencil that I have is literally the same shade for way, way less. So that was another product that I was really excited to get. And mm, I mean, my lips just look so juicy. Next item is, let's see, so I ordered one of their little pressed glitters. I don't know, I like glitter, but I'm not like crazy about glitter, you know, I'm not always rocking glitter, but there's times that I am just in the mood for a good glitter eye look. So I picked up the shade Fire, which is F-Y-R-E, and it's this gorgeous like golden neon lime green, I don't know what color this is but it's pretty this definitely has some like very pretty neon vibes you guys see that oh my god i don't know why i've been just into neons like i know that they're trending but i like i really enjoy wearing them and putting them on my eyes or even on the inner corners of my eyes that just look absolutely stunning and i had not tried any of their pressed glitters this is what it came in you do need to have a z palette which i do have one that is full of glitter so i'm going to add this to my little glitter collection but oh my god look at that it is just so stunning and you don't need glitter glue although i always recommend glitter glue that's another story okay next up i ordered their no filter stick foundation i okay so i took the test which i actually thought was pretty cool it has this little like shade finder and you tell them like your undertones if you're light medium deep dark so i would say that i'm about medium tan right now i'm more on the medium side I can't wait for summer so I can get like really, really tan, like my chest to get tan. Oh, I am ready. So according to the shade finder, these were the two matches for me. Medium 90W and medium 110W, which are these two right here. I actually tried them on my skin today and I don't know how I feel about it. It's so like, I think my skin looks, I think it looks pretty good, right? It looks... It looks like it did a pretty good job at like uh, doing like a full coverage moment, but I don't know. I think I paired it with the wrong concealer. I think I might have worn a little too much foundation, and I've said this before. <clears throat> my skin doesn't do well with pounds of foundation. Like my skin does better when I apply less foundation. I don't know. It just looks better. It wears better. So yeah, these are the two shades that I got. Medium 110W seems to be the best fit for me. But the one thing that I have to say, 
is that for some reason these are so yellow and this is the second time that it has happened to me you guys remember when they released their new foundation the alt star or whatever it is called when they released that foundation it was like yellow i felt like i was rubbing mustard on my skin so these are the two shades this one closest to my left is 110 and then this one oh i'm getting confused and then this one closest to my right is 90 so if you guys are about my skin tone if you guys think that you are like really close to my shades and other foundations let me know if you have the foundation and maybe what shade you are because i wore both of them like i mixed both of them on my skin and i think they look pretty good like i did have to bring them down but that's just like habit of me bringing my foundations down i don't know i have to play with them a little bit more to really determine if i like them or not but they performed pretty well had to get this lippy pencil because everybody always mentions it and they say how good it is and that it's like the perfect lip liner now i forgot that i had gotten the little lip combo otherwise i would have gotten something else but yeah it is what it is so i ended up getting the lippy pencil in the shade bff2 which is this one right here and yes this is another brown lip liner but it's not as dark or deep as the one uh up here which is the shayla this one is a little bit more like a nutmeg. I don't know, but it's really pretty. I didn't use this one today again because I just stuck with the Shayla X ColourPop collab. But I've heard so many people saying that this like pairs so well with so many like nude lipsticks. So I am really excited to try these. I've had pretty bad experiences with lip liners from ColourPop where they just like completely fall off or once you start sharpening them, like they break. So I hope that their packaging is a little bit better this time because I know that these are not like the twist up type of lip pencils. I guess I got another glitter. Now this one, I think I might have gotten by accident. Um, I don't remember. This one is called Outside the Lines and it's their little glitter jars. I think I got this one in hopes to use it as a glitter like on my eyes, but it says that it's more of a glitter body, glitterly obsessed body glitter. Now, of course, you can use it however you wish, and maybe I can get away with using it on my eyes. I just don't know how well it would perform on the eyes because it is more of a like jelly type of consistency, and the glitters are a little bit on the chunkier side versus their pressed glitters. But I'm not a person to wear glitters. Like, mm, I feel like a little too old to be wearing glitter on my body or on my hair. But maybe I can make this work on my eyes. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's this one right here. It is super, super pretty. Maybe I can wear it on the eyes. I don't know. I just feel like I have a thousand golden glitters that I already own. So this one was kind of an oopsie moment. Um, I wish I would have gotten something else, but it is what it is. And somebody's calling me. So next up is a highlighter. This is their Super Shock Cheek. This is in the shade Lunch Money. I think I've heard Kathleen Lights rave about this highlighter before. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. It was one of their best sellers as well. Now, I have tried their Super super Shock Cheek Highlighters before. And, you know, these are tongue twisters when you are bilingual because your Spanish side will try to come out. So, <laughs> I have to say it's slow. Anyway, this is the shade again that I got, which is the Lunch Money, and it's the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Wow, I was so impressed. Like, these are shades that I feel like I normally wouldn't pe peek up. See what I mean? These are shades that I normally would never pick up because they are pretty light. Like, this is almost like a vanilla light white. But I feel like it looks pretty good on my skin. I also applied it to the inner corners of my eyes, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, um, the top of my brows. And I feel like it looks pretty decent. I'm pretty sure that if I mix this with another one or if I use this as like a base for a highlighter, this will look so pretty. But I love the formula of their highlighters. I think they're so like bouncy, very creamy, and they just glide on. So... <clears throat> Love this one. I already tried it. 
Okay, moving on to the next products. I picked up this Super Shock Shadow in the shade Glow Sticks. Now, I've played around with tons of their little eyeshadows before and I do like them I just find it like a little bit hard to work with them but again there's like this thing with a neon that I'm just like literally obsessed over and these are so pretty the only thing that I don't like is that they lose their beautiful little you guys see how they're like stamped you see that like that's is gone once you start like playing around with them but I mean it's not a big deal now this one is more of a neon yellow, like a citrus, which I've been wanting something like this for all over the lid. I really want to do like a really pretty summer popsicle, beachy type of look. And this just calls my name. This one has a little bit of like shimmers in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is just so stunning. I couldn't, I just couldn't put it down. And I think I got these because I thought of these going like super well together. So we're going to have to see about that. Okay, what else? Oh, yes, I got these pigments. So these are the loose pigments. This is actually the collab with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And this is just their loose pigments. I got to because I kind of wanted to get a taste of a deeper colorful eyeshadow and a more light colorful eyeshadow. Now you guys know my obsession with peach is real. So I picked up the shade Hundo which is this one right here. And it's just such a gorgeous like peachy pink. It's very vibrant like very in your face but oh. <gasps> I am living for it. Look at that. I'm going to try and swatch it for you. That is the shade right there. It's a lot more pigmented in person and it does have a little bit of like golden sparks to it. Now these apply way better when you wet them. You can totally use them dry but I feel like they do perform a little bit better when they are wet. The other one that I got again is the Stars Aligns collab with um, Kathleen Lights and I really wanted to get a green because I feel like green is one of those shades that I never really play with and I automatically was like drawn to like the copper ones, the uh, like the champagne ones, like the typical ones that I own like a million of them so I pushed myself to get one that was out of my comfort zone and this green is something that I probably would never buy. But look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my god. It is just the prettiest. Like I don't even know how to describe this green. But it is stunning. And I don't know what look I have planned in mind with this. But there is something cooking up in this little brain of mine. So <laughs> you guys will see many of these products uh, used in uh, a lot of upcoming videos. I forgot that I also picked up another glossy lip. This one is in the shade PS. Now this is different from their So Juicy ones. I actually, I feel like I prefer this one over this just because it's like a squeezy tube. I don't know, I feel like it's more convenient maybe and it's not even that, but I think it's just like the packaging that I like. Anyway, so I picked up the shade and of course like it's a peachy like coral shade like you guys, you guys know that I'm obsessed with peach. It's that one right there. Like I don't have enough peach lip glosses that I had to add to my addiction. That's how crazy I am. Okay, so the last product that I have is another ultra super or er, super shock shadow. This is an ultra glitter in the shade Let Me Pass. And it's the one that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Oh my god, this is so pretty. It's like the perfect like burnt orange with like copper undertones I don't know but one when, when I saw it I was like whoo I need this in my life and here we are <laughs> and that is it you guys that is my mini little haul this is what $100 looks like worth of ColourPop products obviously there's so much more than you can get I think the only thing that was like expensive from this haul were the no filter stick foundations these were about ten dollars a piece so there goes 20 bucks obviously if you want to like be better or if you want to buy more um, I would say to stick with things that are maybe like under eight five dollars which ColourPop has tons of products that are crazy affordable which is why I feel like this brand has been so successful is because it's affordable quality is great the pigmentation is great and they have a lot of 
amazing products. So with that said, let me know what you guys think of this. If you guys want me to do another like $100 haul from like Beach Cosmetics, um, LA Girl, I don't know, just throw out some brands out there and I would love to do a $100 haul to see what $100 can get you at X brand. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you guys saw some new products that you were interested in picking up and you were deciding on it. Let me know what your favorite color pop product is in the comment section down below. Share with me and share with all the commenters. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!